you welcome uh, salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh we are still on the ten commandments in the holy quran and previously we shared two of the, the commandments from quran chapter 6 which is called in arabic surah al-an'am quran chapter 6 verse 151 to 152 we discussed the two commandments the first one that speaks against polytheism worship none except allah your true and only creator don't ascribe or associate partners with him in worship and the second commandment and be kind to your two parents and the third when i talk to you i will and do not kill your children for fear of poverty it is we who provide you and provide them in fifth sixth and seventh century arabia when a man was so overwhelmed and burdened by the financial responsibility he had towards his family he could wipe out his kids for fear of poverty and today how many times haven't you read in the news that a man has poisoned himself, poisoned his kids, and poisoned his wife because of the destroys and drudgery of the financial or economic crunch most of the world is facing today. People kill their children. As a third commandment, Islam says, under no circumstance should you pluck out life out of those innocent little ones innocent kids keep them work hard Allah says it is he who provides for you and provides for them but we misconstrue some of the teachings of this great religion it's good to get married and have so many kids but when you give birth give birth right because the only prophet will only be proud of our multitudes when we are right thinking and virtuous people in the day of judgment the prophet said marry fertile women you love and give birth to children because i'll be happy with your numbers your numerical strength on the day of judgment but the prophet will not be proud of an army of drunkards because of poor parentage the prophet will not be proud with an army of marijuana smokers because of poor parentage. Give birth right. Islam commands that don't kill your children for fear of poverty, but give birth to the right number you can take care of, give them quality education, give them good shelter, give them good clothing, give them good food. That is a commandment from God. And the fourth command, commandment, And don't come even close to immorality or debauchery, whether overt or covert, whether in the open or in discreet. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala questions against immorality. But immorality today has become the order of the day. Nudity is what is seen as being in vogue. Scantily dressed women are people we call celebrities. Let's be careful not to follow what is in the zeitgeist or what is in vogue or in fashion and forget the commandments of our Creator. Today, before you even sell a car, you can accompany it with a scantily dressed woman. Automobile companies are using women, the nudity of women to sell and make profit when you want to watch a wrestling or a boxing bout the woman that even holds the placard to show you what around it is exposes a lot of skin that is what sells immorality they say sells but ask yourself what sells in the sight of our creator we can't be perfect. We are all at fault. But the commandment, the fourth commandment of Quran 6 verse 151 is that Well, I talk about the And don't come even close 
to immorality, what is manifest of it and what is hidden, what is done overtly and what is done covertly. Stay away from it. It doesn't help. It's unwholesome. It's unhealthy uh, for your virtue and piety as an individual. And I urge my sisters, now there are people called slave queens. Be careful how you treat the prime of your youth. Be careful how you dress. Be careful how you project yourself to the world. Because immorality certainly has no place in the sight of God. I hope this helps till I come your way next time with a continuation of the commandments in the Holy Quran. Stay blessed. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye-bye.